and or welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about my world building. Um, if you may or may not know, I am an author. Um, I do have um, a short story that was published um, in a compilation of short stories. That short story actually is the prologue to my current work in progress. So if you want to see a little bit more about my world building, I say go ahead and stick around. So before we get started into the world building, I just want to um, talk a little bit about the, the short story. It was called Sweet Like Candy and it uh, actually is in a compilation of short stories and the book is called When I Kill Him, Jesus Can Have Him. Here's the cover. Um, here's a, a couple of reviews, um, things. Um, it is on Amazon, but you can also get it on my website at www.teamombook.com. Um, currently on Amazon, it does have a five-star rating. Uh, one thing that you can do, I don't know if you guys know, but November is kind of like off. Uh, Editing Yolanda here is saying that this video was shot a while ago. Enjoy though. November, November 1st is um, national authors day so if you do have a favorite author or someone that you really really um, love their work the best thing that you can do is leave a review um, it is just so um, satisfying um, to open up or to get pinged when someone has left a review and they let you know that they enjoyed your work so if you've read the short story please do um, review it on amazon um, you can also get the short story from me also as well. So either one um, can do. And um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and start world building. See ya. It's important to me as a writer to visualize where my characters are. <laughs> I want to know, you know, what their mannerisms are, their attitudes and the way that they appear physically. And if you're anything like me, you love a backstory. I mean, I sometimes annoy my husband and how many times I ask him why. Anywho, here is my world. The story takes place in Magnolia Park, which is an up and coming small city in Georgia, somewhere off of Highway 20. Now, the two main characters are Candace Sweet and Rudolph Sweet. And I picture Rudolph as this debonair, handsome, very charismatic um, young man. And the perfect person that I could think of is uh, Jean Page. He played the Duke in the first Bridgerton series. So love, love, love him. Love the way he carried himself. He owned the room. And that's who I think of when I think of Pastor Rudolph. Now, Candace is sometimes sweet, sometimes a little naughty. And so I thought of Coco Jones um, to play or to, uh, or not, I won't say play, but visualize. And um, so I have her picture on my storyboard to help me with um, writing the st story. And then the alter ego, one of the uh, um, characters in the book is Marquise. Um, love him or hate him, he is definitely um, giving main character energy in the book. And Marquise, I picture as being Michael P. Jordan. You know, it's that sexiness with a hint of naughtiness that kind of just makes everyone wants to um, really, really know what keeps him ticking. So Candace comes from a, a broken family unit um, where her grandmother raised her and her siblings. And she meets both of these uh, men on her journey and um, as she continues to grow. Now, I'm not going to tell you every single thing, of course, that happens um, in the book. You can definitely... Uh, pick up the short story to kind of see what happens and who all is in there. 
now i want to just really touch on there's this strong group of friends and you'll have the opportunity to meet them in the upcoming book and um, these ladies definitely stand by candy as she goes through and grows through everything that um, has brought her way i don't know about you all but um, it is so so important to have uh, a strong group of friends not just people who um, stand by you when you're right but people that also stand by you when you're wrong but also who tell you when you're wrong and and people that you can truly truly you truly know um, that depend on you uh, I see you guys may see a picture of Whoopi Goldberg Whoopi um, reminds me of Big Mom and Big Mom is a uh, influential uh, part of Candace's life and um, you see the house that Candace grew up in here and um, a little bit of the house that where Big Mom now stands and stays as well as uh, pictures of what Magnolia Park looks like. You uh, see her friends here, the tea parties, the different things that they go through and just how they truly, truly enjoy themselves, enjoy each other and continue to grow. And and as the two characters and really get to know each other better. So hopefully you enjoyed a little bit of a peek into my world. You see that scene right there. there that was the um, media room at the church which is prominent <laughs> uh, in the book. So uh, definitely take check out the short story. And if you haven't already, make sure to join the email list on the website, www.teamonbook.com, so that you will be the first to be notified when the new book releases. 2024 promises to be a banner year as uh, a couple of the books in the series, Past the Wife, club um, comes out check it out let me know what you think and we'll catch you on the other side everybody bye bye it's me again that was fun i almost felt a little bit like a uh in school again doing a project but one of the things that it kind of allowed me to do is you know how you have the pictures in your in your mind and you're describing it on paper or if you're a reader and you read the words this kind of gives um, that that added bonus to being able to also see what the author sees and this kind of helps me keep my focus on uh, what the story is about is kind of what I would consider like a mood board. So like designers have mood boards that kind of keep them focused on what the mood of the room is. And this is what um, this has allowed me to do. I'm going to pop up here a little mini video of uh, the book signing event of when we did When I Kill Him. And it, I'm reading an excerpt from the story. So I hope you enjoy. And so I'm just going to read you all a little excerpt from my piece, Sweet Like Candy. Lady Candace Sweet sits on the front row of First Baptist Church of Magnolia Park, beaming with pride as she watches her husband deliver another dynamic sermon. She could not believe that after five years of marriage, that she still felt a tingle deep in her belly every time her husband stood behind the podium. Who would have thought that she would be married to one of the most influential, prominent men in the state? Not only was he a great expositor of the world, but he was oh so fine. <laughs> Candace began to daydream about what she would do with Reverend Rudolph Sweet when she got him home. Mm -mm 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 -mm. As Candace slowly became aware that she was still in the church, 
she heard her husband inviting people to give their life to Christ. At first, she did not pay any attention to any of the people that came up to give the pastor their hand. And then she noticed something familiar about one of the new converts. Her mind raced. Her heart started beating fast. No, it couldn't be him. No, not him. Not after all this time. He couldn't have walked into First Baptist Church of Magnolia Park. She shook her head to free it of the cobwebs and searched through her purse for a hanky to wipe the sweat from her forehead. As she looked up with the handkerchief in her hands, her eyes locked with the very last person she ever expected to see in First Baptist Church of Magnolia Park. If you want to know who she saw, you need to be there. This is your girl Yolanda at Forever Londa, and we're going to say bye-bye now. See you later.